Hey, so here's a really easy way to figure out if a token is going to be a zero and you're going to be a bag holder or if you're actually going to get that 10x, 100x return that you see on Twitter and Reddit and Discord or whatever. So at its core, I use concepts from traditional finance to help frame whether or not this token is going to be a hero or a zero. And we do this via concepts called fundamental analysis. So fundamental analysis in the traditional equity space is where you look at the revenue a company makes, you back out the expenses it pays out, and if the company is profitable, then you can do some multiple of that to figure out what the per share price of that company would be, right? So if Apple makes like $100 billion a year in revenue and it pays out $50 billion a year in expenses, the company, Apple, makes $50 billion a year in profit. You can apply that same framework and concept to any type of token on the blockchain, whether it's Ethereum, Avalanche, Bitcoin, or anything in between, even layer twos. And what you'll see using this methodology is that most tokens are actually turds. And I think this serves you well because you're looking for ways to say no, not looking for ways to say yes. When you evaluate a token, you're trying to figure out, is this a zero? Rather than asking yourself, is this going to be a 10 banger? If you, if you evaluate tokens through the lens of this is going to zero rather than this is going to be 100, you're going to save a lot of money. Here's how it works. So we're going to use Ethereum as an example. You can look at Ethereum on the basis of how much ETH gets minted every day to pay stakers for verifying transactions on the blockchain. You can see today post-merge Ethereum mints around 1,000 ETH per day. This is new ETH that didn't exist. It's added to the blockchain to pay stakers for verifying transactions. Then you compare the amount of ETH that gets burned every day from every transaction. So when a transaction is completed, some ETH gets burned and that's removed from the network. When the quantity of ETH that gets burned is greater than the quantity of ETH that gets paid out, Ethereum's profitable and deflationary. You might hear this is ultrasound money. You can do this for every single token that exists in the blockchain, and where you're gonna find out is like, the only token that's actually profitable is the BNB Binance token. Everything else, even Ethereum in this post-merge world, is still inflationary and therefore not profitable. If you use this methodology, you're gonna avoid a ton of like bag holding activities but more importantly, you're going to realize that at the end of the day, money matters and only tokens that accrue value will sustain the test of time.